Should a woman be embarrassed if she queefs? <laughs> and is it a turn off for men? What's up, Hawkinator fam? Hey. We're gonna do like we just did in the last video, but anita has got some questions for me that she says are... Yeah, I'm gonna ask him some uncomfortable questions that some women are afraid to ask men. <laughs> Let's do it. I'm ready. You ready? <laughs> That's it. You just wanna jump right into it? Yeah, let's get right to it. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> I had put some questions, um, I text myself some questions, so, um, Okay, you want me to take it easy on you first, or just go straight into go, it? Go straight in. Let's get straight to the good stuff. Okay. I'm going to start off slow. Alright, that's fine. So, why is it so hard for men to communicate? Uh, I don't think it's that it's hard for us to communicate. I think that most men, you know, if you ask me something, I'm going to give you the, the direct answer. Like, So, is it, I don't think it's hard at all for men to communicate. I think that we communicate maybe not as much as y'all communicate, <laughs> but, you know. You just talk too damn much. <laughs> but, honey, you got, sometimes she'll ask me for, like, my opinion on something, like, which picture do you like better? And I'll be like, oh, I like that one better. And she'll be like, you didn't even look at him. You sure? And I'm like, yeah, I like that one better. <laughs> and then eventually I'll be like, oh, I, I like that one better then, because I think you want me to say, right. No, it's because you don't pay attention. I do pay attention. Whatever. Okay. So... Now this question is for you, not just for men, um, but, well, I guess it can be a general question, but I want you to answer it. Okay. So the, when we had sex for the first time, did you kiss and tell? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, I know a gentleman shouldn't, but yeah, I totally did. You did? I mean, I didn't like go around telling everybody, but you know, I think, I just, yeah, it was like really, Yeah. it was great. You know, it was great. So uh, I don't know, I think I told like maybe like your friends. Well, at the time, you know, the guys I was working with, because oh. I mean, they always would ask me stuff. So, <laughs> I was a crew leader, and they were always asking me. And this was when I was doing the unlocatable gas lines thing. Yeah, so yeah, I did. So you told your coworkers. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, you kiss and tell. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is a two-part question. Okay. So, should a woman be embarrassed if she queefs? <laughs> and is it a turn off for men? No, I don't think she should be embarrassed. And no, I wouldn't say it's a turn off. I mean, it could be funny, you know. <laughs> but for me, it's it wouldn't be like a, a mood killer or anything. So no, nah. it, it wouldn't catch you off guard or anything. No, nah. I mean it happens, you know. Okay. It's one of those things. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is actually from a viewer. Mm -hmm. And the viewer asks, when it comes to um, you dating different races, I guess, is, well, I'm going to ask the question a little different because theirs is kind of graphic. Um, but um, when it comes to having sex with different races, ethnicities, nationalities, whatever, mm -hmm. um, is, it, is the sex different? Or I guess just with different women. Let's take nationalities out of it. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, I think it's different, just varies from different women. But, um, you know, where, you know, some women might just kind of lay there and not really be into it. And then some women are like you and you're like a total freak. Oh, no, whatever. And I love that. She is like a freak. She's a very kicky girl. So, that's great. Uh, but yeah, that definitely can be different just from woman to woman. I don't think. Like, as far as the feel of it, like. Oh, you're talking about like how, yeah, I think that can vary from women. I think it's all similar, but, um, yeah, it can definitely, this one can feel different than that one, you know, a vagina, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He said vagina. <laughs> no, <I'm joking. laughs> okay. Um, do guys stop women's social medias, like when they first meet them? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, I checked yours out. You did? I know you were stalking mine, so. What? You did. You told me you did. Well, I, I looked at it and I did look up your name. Yeah, she was stalking. <laughs> but yeah, I checked out your. I Facebook. wanted to make sure you wasn't a criminal. Yeah. 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 So. <laughs> if you would put your criminal activities on your page. What? <laughs> I guess you can't because the DEA would be here. So what's the point of like men like looking up just to like 
see what Omen's about, see if she has another man, like what is it? Yeah, and just to check out the whole package. Oh. I want to see you. Oh. See what you got. Oh, okay. <laughs> and I liked everything I was seeing, so. Oh, great, honey. <laughs> okay, so, um, let's see. So being that we're married, mm -hmm. if I meet a guy while I'm out and I decide that I want to have a male friend and I want to go out with them, would that be okay with you? Hard no. No? I don't know. I can't have a male friend? Absolutely not. Hell no. Till the no, no, no. Hell to the no. Unless what? he's gay. What? But, nah, if you meet some dude and you're like, I want to go hang out with this guy, I'm like, no. No? Hell no. Would you be okay if I had like some female I want to go hang out with? No. Well, would you be okay if I had like a male friend like that I had before like we started dating? Well, yeah, you got male friends like social media wise. The people you've known in your life before. I mean, I'm fine with that. But if you were like, I'm going to go hang out with this guy, I'm going to be like, no. Like, absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> this is all mine. And this is all But yours. he just wants to be my friend. Nah, no. <laughs> I know guys. He's like, no, guys I don't hear, no. I don't want to hear it. Maybe there are some guys that I just, I don't know of any. No. Like, no. But it is okay that I have male friends. It's just not yeah, okay. That's fine with me. You know, I'm totally cool with it. And even like, you know, Tony, Anthony's dad and, and Julian, they were before me and I'm cool. I'm cool with them. And I don't mind like Tony came over and hung out with us. That's Anthony's dad. And uh, me and Tony are real cool. He came over here and hung out and I was fine with it because he was in town and he got to spend some time with his sons. So that was great. Yeah. But yeah, just, just to finalize the answer to that question, definitely not cool with you hanging out with a male friend. Okay. So another two-part question, kind of from viewers. Mm -hmm. um, and I guess if you want to speak from a man's perspective, that'd be great. Don't talk about me, please. Um, <laughs> if, you know, it even correlates. But okay, so mm -hmm. it's a two-part question. If you have ever tasted a woman... Do the women taste different? And when I ask, do they taste different? Like, um, if you've been with like the same thing, different nationalities or ethnicities, whatever. Like, does like the different ethnicities taste the same, or just do they women just taste different? Period. By taste, you mean like <laughs> like cannibalism? <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I, women, and I don't think it has any. I don't. And I think it's just women to women can have the different like scent in you know from their their vagina mm -hmm. and uh, <laughs> it, yeah vagina. different huh? taste and I love her scent it's great honey it's, I said don't talk about me but no nah, I, mean, I think that's something that it's it I liked it immediately and I'm I'll be it was like it's like the pheromones or something I'm very attracted to that so I think that's you know, God is a genius he knows it's, it's perfect because okay so. Last question, and I guess it can be a two-part question too, because it's like if it has ever happened to you. So, um, are men embarrassed if they come too fast? Oh yeah, yeah. And like, has it happened to you before? Yeah, it's happened with you before, with you. Know, <laughs> but yeah, it is. It's kind of. It, I guess it can kind of depend. I mean. It, you know, if it was just somebody you didn't work, you know, really into uh, the woman, then I, I wouldn't think that would be embarrassing. But, like, you know, when we first had sex, I wanted to, you know, last for a while, you know. So, it would be, yeah, come on too fast, it's, yeah, that'd be embarrassing. It could be embarrassing. <laughs> it could be embarrassing. Yeah. Have you ever been embarrassed? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Door whisper in my ear that you want some more and I jizz in my pants. <laughs> yeah, it happens, you know. <laughs> Were any of those questions comfortable? Are you comfortable answering those questions? Yeah, for the most part. You, you were saying like you were going to just <laughs> blow me out of the water, but no. Nah, oh, no, I just wanted to ask you like <laughs> sexual questions yeah. and you know, we're married, mm -hmm. so... You know, the marriage bedroom, you definitely don't want anybody to be in it. That's mm -hmm. why, like, I didn't want to open up too much, and I didn't want you to talk about our personal life, but just from a man's experience, I, you know, wanted him to speak from a man's experience. I know you can't speak for all men, but yeah. I know some men do, mm -hmm. you know, are similar. But those were good questions. I liked them. Okay, cool. Yeah. <laughs> 
Well, if you want to see Justin ask me some more uncomfortable questions, um, you guys can actually start following him on Instagram. It's Hawkins308. Is that right? Yeah, that's my Instagram. Yeah, you can fi follow him on Instagram and you can DM him some questions because he wants to do it, but ask me some more uncomfortable questions. His last video was just more like things that husband would want to know. Um, yeah, I kind of did take it easy on you. Yeah, and then the call sign underscore Hulkinate. Is that underscore? Yeah, it's underscore. Yeah, the call sign underscore. Ugh, call sign <laughs> underscore Hulkinate. Um, Instagram. I normally handle that one, so if you DM that one, more than likely it's me. Um, I do have a personal Instagram, but honestly, I'm rarely on it. I try to remember to even get on it. But call sign um, underscore Hulkinate. You can definitely. Um, Call sign underscore Hawkinate. You can definitely reach me um, in the DM if you have any um, questions that you would like us to ask. Or even if you have um, any um, games that you would want us to do or any challenges you would want us to do, you can put it down in the comments below and we'll respond to you and we'll try to get those done. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Yeah, and if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. And we will see you later. See you later.